أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome everyone to today's class. Thank you all for arriving on time. I hope you are all ready by having your wudu done and having your heads covered with a scarf or a topi. We are going to start our class with our daily dua and I would like a student for that please. Um, Assalamu alaikum. Um, our first student is A1192. <clears throat> Abu Madina, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Good. Good, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, how are you? I'm good. Jazakallah for asking. Um, can you help me with this prayer here? So, um, I want you to repeat after me. So, we're going to start with with Eld and Tasmiya. So, um, if you please repeat after me, and I want everyone at home to repeat after me as well. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان Okay, and then the translation, I seek refuge with Allah from Satan the accursed. Okay, just give me a minute. Um, and can you do the translation for me as well? So let's do this again. Um, and then um, I want you to do the translation. If you follow after me, please. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم I seek refuge with Allah I seek refuge with Allah from Satan the accursed I seek refuge with Allah I refuse with Allah from Satan. From Satan. The accursed. The accursed. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah. In the name of Allah. The most gracious. The most gracious. The ever merciful. The ever merciful. Let's do our piece of prayer after me. Rabbana. Rabbana. Taqabbal minna. Taqabbal. Minna. Minna. Innaka Innaka Anta Samiqul Alim Anta Samiqul Alim Excellent. And can you do the translation for me, so please? Our Lord, I kept Accept from from us, for you all, you are all hearing all knowledge, all mm. al bakra, no knowing, okay. al bra, al bakra, eight, good, twenty eight. Well done, This is the surah and this is the verse. Zakala, okay. Moving on to today's lesson, we are looking at a new lesson today and it's called combining. So lesson 18, combining, that's Russell, okay? So let's first find out what Russell means. Russell means to connect or to link. So in the Holy Quran, there are many, many words which start or end um, with blank letters, okay? Um, that means that the letter doesn't have any sort of stroke at the top or bottom or any sign on it, okay? Now, when these blank letters are dropped while connecting two words, um, but maintained when uh, read alone. So, when we are connecting two words together, um, 
these blank letters are dropped. So then we don't pronounce these blank letters. But when we read two words separately and we're taking a pause in between, then these letters are um, read out. Okay. And I'll explain that a bit more. I'll show you examples a bit more in a second. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to let um, I just wanted to mention that there are two categories of such words, um, of which the first is um, blank letters between mutaharik and sakin letters. Um, and mutaharik, I believe you already know because we have covered this quite a bit. Mutaharik letter is any letter that has a um, a stroke on top or below of it. So it, uh, the letter must have a fatakasa or a dhamma and a sakin letter, okay? Sakin letter is with a ko, a comma type sign on top of the letter. So the first type is um, blank letters between a mutaharik and sakin letter. And the second type is a letter between a mutaharik and we show the letter again, between a letter that has a fatakasa or dhamma and the other letter has a um, shabba, which is a W like sign. So now that I've explained this, I'm going to show you uh, in more detail um, everything. Let me um, everything that I've just said. Okay. So the first thing I said was vessel means to connect or to link. Okay. And I said that there are many um, words in the Quran which either start or end with blank letters. For example, here, if you look at this first word here, you can see that they are, that there are some letters. For example, this alif here, it is blank, but here the rule of um, normal elongation is taking place because the letter before the alif has a fata, therefore this alif has become a alif mother. Okay, so we know this rule. But if you look further up ahead, you've got another blank alif. And then another blank alif. And you might think, so after this line, there is a blank alif. So you might say, uh, well, we need to do um, normal elongation. That's correct. But you would only do that if you were stopping here. If after the lam and you were stopping here. But if, so if I was stopping here, if my word was only up to here, so if it was only this highlighted bit here, I would read, qala. I've made my lam long because there is alif, uh, alif madha, okay? But if I want to join this first part with this second part here, if I want to read this whole entire word, there it, this rule is going to change, okay? You can see that this alif is blank. Normally, if you were going to stop, this would have been a um, normal elongation. It would have been alif madha. But because the next letter is a alif, a blank alif, it has no sign. And the letter after the blank alif, so there's two blank alifs, and the letter after the alif has a um, scorn on top of it. That means that we're going to do vessel. That means that the previous letter, whichever the letter is previous to it, that has a sign needs to be joined onto this lam. Because remember what I said here? that there are two categories where vassal, where joining, connecting needs to take place. And one of them is between a mutahirik letter and a sakin letter. So that is between the lam with a fatha, that's our mutahirik letter here, and the lam with um, our skun here. So when I want to say this whole word, a whole word, I will say qalalhamdu. Yeah? Qala alhamdu, because I'm joining this lam with this um, lam with a fatha with the lam sakin. I'm joining these two. However, if I was stopping um, after in between, I would have done my normal ru rule of um, alif madha. Okay, I'll give you another example here as well <coughs> in the next. Um, box here. So say for example I was going to stop here. So I'm going to read this part only, okay? Up to the vowel. Up to the vowel I would read Wadhulu. I will read this Wadhulu. And the reason for this is because there's a vowel here. We know that this vowel might be a, a vowel madha because the um 
the, and how we check it is we look at the letter before it, which is a lam. Does that lam have a dhamma? Yes, it does. If the letter before the vowel has a dhamma, then this vowel becomes a vowel mud. So then we do normal prolo uh, two second prolongation. Okay, so uh, we would read wa the hulu. Okay, but if I want to join this first part with this second part over here, that rule is going to change. Okay, and what will happen is vassal is going to take place. And I know this. Because we can see that the vowel doesn't have any sign on top of it. The alif also doesn't have so any sign of it. The second alif here also doesn't have a sign on top of it. But the third alif, it has a scorn on top of it. It has a jazan, a scorn. It's a lam sarkin. And the letter before all the blank letters has a stroke. It has a dhamma, isn't it? So because that lam has a stroke, I will join this lam with the dhamma with the lam sakin. And when I join the, the, these two lams, the sound I will create is lul. I'm joining the lam with the dhamma with the lam sakin. Lul. And all together I would read wa the hulul baba. Wa the hulul baba. Okay, that's how I would read it if I was joining this. Okay, that's what Russell means. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask for a student to please be chosen so that uh, so they can help me with this exercise. Uh, yeah. Um, our first nasra is N1273. N1273. Okay. Uh, our first nasra is N1273. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. How are you? I'm good. Uh, good, Alhamdulillah. Um, we are learning a new rule. Um, did it make sense? Do you understand it? Um, not really. No, not really. That's okay. Uh, I'm here to help. Okay. Um, let's go through. Let me just remove all of the. Okay, let's go through this first box here. Okay. If I said to you, actually, if I said to you, can you read? Put that underline. How would you read it? Uh, uh. So starting from the top. Uh, uh. A list doesn't have any sign on top of it. So what type of other thing is this? Uh. This is the Aleph Mud, okay? Okay. Do you remember how long the Aleph Mud sound is? Uh, two seconds. Good, well done. It is two seconds. So, you can't have another go at saying this. Uh -oh. The Aleph doesn't have any sign on top or below it. So, because, the, because there is an Aleph Mud after the first, Oh, I'm two seconds left. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, then you repeat after me. Oh. Uh. Okay. If I was stopping after the lamb, after this alif, I would read this part as. I would read the lamb as. Oh, la. Because after the qaf, there's alif mud, and, and after the lamb, there's alif mud. However, if I was going to read this whole part of the path all the way to the die, this alif mud uh, rule will change. It's going to slightly change. And the reason for this is because you can see after the blank letter, there's going to be any sign on top of the layer below them. Um, there comes alarm with a jazm. And what we've learned so far is that the vessel rule is that when there is a mutaharic letter, that means a letter with a sign of the imam with the fata. Daddy, somebody's knocking on the door! And then there is a lamb with a um, spoon on the door. We need to join these two. We need to join these two letters. And the sound that that makes is lal. 
and this is called Russell. It means to connect, and join, and combining these two words. Okay. Okay. So all together, I would read. Alhamdu. Alhamdu. Good. Um, I want to, okay, just before we do this once more, I just wanted to say um, there is a slight problem with our app um, and that means that I can hear any noise um, that everyone at home is making. So if you are not chosen uh, on the mic, I want you to stay, um, make sure that you're in a quiet background and when you repeat after me, do it silently not in the mic because i can hear all the voice and that may, means that the class is uh, very disrupt disruptive okay okay um okay so um when i say everyone at home repeat after me do it really silently because your voice you. are coming through okay and unfortunately unfortunately that is not your fault it's something with the app okay okay so let's have a go at reading this together <laughs> Yeah, you're going to join the this lam, the first lam with the fata, with this other lam with the scorn, okay? Lal. Lal. Good. Say that once more. Lal. Lal. Good. All together, this is, and everyone at home practice as well. Qalalhamdu. Good. Okay, let's have a go at the next one. Do you want to have a go at saying this yourself or do you want to do it with me? I want to do it with you. Okay, let's make it easy for us. Um, I'm going to split this word into two. Okay. Now, I can see that... What letter is this first one here? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Dal. Okay. Now, can you see there is an olive in between this vowel and this dal? Okay. And that olive doesn't have any sign. It has no um fatakasa or dhamma. Okay. Okay. So that means that when that means as we read in this rule here, in the rule of Russell. If there are, if there is a letter, a mutaharik letter, now is, can you tell me, is this vowel a mutaharik letter? Uh, Remember what a mutaharik letter is? It uh, is, it is any letter that has a fatta, kasa, or a dhamma. That is, if it has any type of strike on top or below of it, then it is a mutaharik letter. So, is this vowel a mutaharik letter? Yeah. Yes. Good girl. It is a mutaharik letter because it has a fat on top of it, break on top of it. Good. Now there is this blank olive. Does the olive have any sign on top or below of it? No. No. Okay, so it's absolutely blank. Now we can see the next letter after the blank olive is a dal, but that dal has a scorn on top of it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So remember what we read in the rule of Russell. If there is a mutaharik and sakin letter, so if there is a mutaharik letter and then in between there is a blank and then after that there is a spoon letter, then vessel is taking place. That means I'm joining this vowel with this dal over here. Yeah? Yeah. So what I would do is I would join this vowel and dal. So I would say wada. Wada. Good. I've joined this vowel sound with the dal, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So let's read all of this up to here. Wadahulu. Wadahulu. Good. Now, can you, did you realize that I've made the lamb sound a bit long here? Can you tell me why I've done that? Um, because it has... It's okay if you don't know. Do you want me to help you? Yeah. Okay. Because there is a vowel here, and the letter before the vowel, if that has a dhamma, which this lamb does, if there is dhamma on top of this lamb, that means that this vowel has become a vowel. Okay? 
a vowel become a vowel mode, that means that the last sound needs to be prolonged for up to two seconds. Okay, that's why I've made the last sound long. Now I would only, so I've made the last sound long. That's because I've stopped here. I've paused here. I'm taking a break. So I've said word the hulu. Okay, and I'm breaking. I'm pausing there. However. If I wanted to join it with the rest of the words here, with the rest of the letters here, then that um, madhu would change. What would happen is that this vessel rule would over overtake this, yeah? So yeah. We would ignore the, um, the, the vessel rule will take precedence, okay? That means, that's because you can see that there's a line here with a um, dhamma, so that's a multi letter. After that, we've got one, two, three blank letters. We've got one vowel blank letter, a list that's also blank, and another a list that's blank. So we've got three blank letters. That's okay. But that is the next letter. After all these blank letters, a letter with a scorn. Can you tell me? Is the letter after all these blank letters, is this lamb after all these blank letters, a um, left with a spoon. Does it have a spoon on top of it? Yeah. It does, exactly, it does. And remember what we read, if um, there are blank letters between a mutaharik letter and a um, spoon letter, then vessel takes place. That means that I have to join this lamb, this dhamma, the lamb with the dhamma, with this sarkin lamb. And I would ignore all these blank letters, okay? They would be silent letters. So, what I would say is, where the hulul into has joined this lamb, the lamb with the dhamma and the lamb with the shun, lul. That's the sound I'm making. Can you do that for me? Lul. 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 Good. So, all together, I would read. It's a long word, it's okay. Let's try that once more. Excellent, well done. Right, Jazakallah for your help. Allah Hafiz. Okay, can I please have another student for the next two words? Um, yes. Um. Um, the next student is A1239. Assalamu alaikum, A1239. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum how are you? I'm good. You? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, jazakallah for asking. Okay. Um, did you understand uh, the lesson? This yeah. new rule, yeah? Does it make sense? Or yeah. are you a little bit confused? I'm a little bit confused. You're a little bit confused. That's okay. Why? Um, why are you confused? Is it um, the whole thing doesn't make sense, or you don't know when to do vessel, or do you not know what vessel means? Uh, I don't know when to do vessel. You don't know when to do vessel. Okay. Let's do this together then. So we're going to look at this box here. Okay. Yeah. So the third box. Okay. Yeah. So, what's the first letter here? Uh, fa. Yeah, okay, so, and it has a gasa, so we would say fi, okay? Fi. Yeah, good. If I said to you, how, can you read only the highlighted part? What would you, how would you read it? Fi. Good, well done. You read fi, you made the fi sound two seconds long because there is a yamad, isn't there? Yes. Yeah, so that's what you do. So you would do this if you were pausing here, if you were stopping here. If you were just reading this part, you would say fi and you would stop, right? So yeah. excellent. But can you see after after the ya, there is this word there there are these letters still left to read, aren't they? Yeah. So well, so now you need to read these together. A rule will take place, which is vassal, okay? Vassal will take place because what, what you can't read is, you can't say feel, that's wrong, okay? Yeah? Okay. What will happen is, 
So if you, so if you just read this part here, you would say B and you made it long and that's perfectly fine. That's how you would read it. So that's excellent. But if I'm going to read this whole word, what's happening is, what I need to do is I need to look at all my blank letters. This year, does it have any stroke on top or below? No. No, it has no sign, isn't it? Now, yes. the sign after the year, that also doesn't have a sign, does it? No. No, okay. What about the letter after the alif? It does have a sign. It does have it does have a sign. And what sign is that? Um I forgot. It's a scorn. It looks a little different over there. But it's the same um sign as it was over here. Yeah? yeah. It's a scorn. That's all, uh, another way of writing scorn, okay? Okay. So now because you want to join this far all of this together, what will happen is you are going to ignore all the blank letters because you want to join this first part with the rest of the uh, of uh, of this word okay so you will ignore all these um letters that have that don't have a sign and you're going to join this far with the lamb so basically you're joining the two letters that do have a sign which is the far and the lamb does that make sense yes yeah so if I join the far with the lamb, what sound do you think I will be making? Phil. Excellent, well done. And that's what Russell is, okay? That's that's when you need to do Russell. When there are blank letters, you ignore the blank letters and you join the letter which has a sign with the next letter, which is usually a um, sarkin letter or a um, letter that has a uh, shadda. Okay, but in this case, it has a sarkin, so you've joined the far and the lam. Yeah? Yes. So have a go at saying this whole word. Fil arzi. Excellent, well done. So when you joined this far and the lam, you did vassal. You joined the far and the lam. Okay? Okay. That's what vassal means, and, that, and you knew that, that that's what you needed to do. Okay. okay. Well then, I know it's a bit tricky and I think you would probably do that, but it's a rule that is taking place over here, okay? Have a go at saying this um, word. Excellent. Now, do you realise where you did bustle? Because you did do bustle. Do you know where you did it? You did combine two letters. Do you know where you did that? Um, after the rain. No, you did it with the rain and the lamb. Okay. Not after the rain, with the rain. Yeah? yeah? Because you joined the rain with this lamb. So you joined them, you combined these two words. Remember, vessel means to combine, to connect two words. And you joined the rain with the lamb. So you did vassal here, okay? Okay. That's just the rule. But you knew how to do that, so well done. Say that once more for me. Excellent. Have a go at the next one as well. Excellent, well done. And you know where you did this vassal rule, the combining rule? With the the and the scene. Good, well done. You did it with the the and the scene. And if I said to you, just read up. So if I said to you, can you read up to here, up to the ya? How would you read it? Alladi. Okay, if you read it up to there, this ya would actually become a ya madda. Okay. Yeah, I would say Alladi. If I was stopping over here. But because I'm not stopping there, because I want to read this whole word, uh, the dal and the scene are joining up. Yeah? Okay. Yes. They're joining up because the scene has a scorn on top of it. So that's why you read out, Allah this dawqada. Have a go at saying that again for me. 
Alladhistuqada. Well done, good. Are you still a little bit confused? No. You sure? If you are, you can ask me. Okay. Are you sure you're okay? I'm okay. All right, perfect. Jazakallah for your help. Jazakallah. Jazakallah, Allah Hafiz. Can I please have another student for the next couple of words? Um, yes. N13 double one. N13 double one. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. Um, I don't think I I can't hear anything from your side. So maybe um that's a problem from your side. Check that your mic is working because I can't get um hear you. Um, for now, can we have another student, and we'll come back to you later. Um, yes, N one three zero two. N one three zero two. Assalamu alaikum. N one three zero two. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Zakla for asking. Um, we are learning a new rule. How are you finding it? Um. I find it good. Wow. Yeah. Do you understand it? Yes. That's great to hear. Have a go at this first. Um, reading this first word here. But is this the Zanuka? Good. Okay, can you tell me where the bustle is taking place? Um, with the Zal and with the Zal and scene. Good, well done for realizing that it's the Zal and the scene. Um, because you're joining the Zal with the scene. The Zal does that. Remember, we can only join if the if um the letter is a um mutahharik letter. That means if it has a fatakasa or dhamma. In between, there are blank letters, and the letter after that ha is a scorn letter, which this scene is. So that's why um, we were able to join these two letters. Well done. Have a go at the next um, one here. Let me just highlight it for you. So have a go at this one. Al 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 the da. Good. Um, okay, remember when there is a tashdeed on a letter, can you see on the lam there is a shadda? Yes. Yeah, so that means when you join the alif and the lam, I need to hear a stressed sound there, yeah? I need to hear that joining, the stress uh, of joining, okay? okay? Allah. Allah. Good. So, Allah there. Well done, good. Um, and can you tell me where Russell is taking place in this word? The Zal and the Ra. Good, well done. The, the, it is taking place between the Zal and the Ra. Um, if I said to you, uh, if I said to you, can you read? The word up to the ya. Uh, so okay. this part up here. How would you read it? Lani Allah. Oh, yeah. Allah Good, well done. You made sure that your dal is long for two seconds. Can you explain to me why you made your dal long for two seconds? Because um, the letter before it has a kusra and it would be ya mada. Good, well done. Good, well done for realizing that. So if I was if I was only reading up to there, if I was pausing there, I would say Allah the, and then afterwards I would start with the alif and I would say and continue. But if I'm reading the whole place, did you realize that you don't that this ya? Isn't a yamad that if you read this whole word? Yeah. Good, because the vessel is taking place. Well done. Uh, say this once more for everyone. Allah, Allah, Zirtada. Excellent. Just the one thing that I want you to uh, focus on is the lamb 
uh, it has a shadow and what else does it have on top of it? Um, a fatha. A fatha, and how long is that sound? One second. One second, exactly. And you made it a little longer than that, so make sure that the alarm sound, it, you need to stress it, like that means when you join the elephant alarm, you need to hear the stress there, but that doesn't mean that you prolong the alarm sound. So, I love it. Can you hear how I how I made sure that I stressed my sound when I was joining the elephant alarm? But I didn't make my alarm sound long. So, Excellent, well done. Have a go at the next one. Biha, biha dil, oh um ye, Good, well done. Biha dil um ye, biha dil um ye, Excellent, well done. Uh, well done. Very, very well read, Mashallah. Um, these are longer words, so it, it is a bit trickier because you've got all these dif different rules that are coming up now. So um, continue to practice. The more you practice, the more fluent you will become. Mashallah, that was really well read. Jazakallah for your help. Jazakallah, Allah Hafiz. Can I please have the next student for the next two words? Um, yes, A1221. A one two two one. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Waalaikum salam. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Alhamdulillah. How are you? Yeah, alhamdulillah, very good. Jazakallah for asking. Um, how do you do, uh, do you understand the rule? The rule that we are learning uh, today. I, I, I just came now. Oh, you just came now. Okay. Because we were in the shops. Okay. Um. Okay. Let me quickly um, explain to you, or um, if it's okay with you in charge, if we can come back to the student and um, maybe from a few examples. Um, I you, know a bit. Um, you already know this rule? Yeah. Okay, have a, have a go at reading this word then. D, okay. Ye. okay, what I want you to make sure is look at the signs on top and at the bottom of the letters, okay? Can you see? Okay, the ra, alif, and the vowel have normal fataka sandama, which are one second, okay? But can you see that this alif here has a vertical fata and this ya as well? So, how long should these sounds be? Oh, uh, two seconds. Two seconds, good. So when, when you say these these two words, I want you to make sure that you do try to make these sounds two seconds long because at the moment they were only one second long. So have another go at saying this. La a u a a la la a. Okay, let's have a go. Okay, let's have a go at saying this together. So. Up to the vowel, I would I would read um, ra avul. Uh, sorry, ra avu. Ra avu. Good. Now the rule that we've been learning is combining vessel. Okay. Can you see that this vowel has a sign on top of it? Uh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. yeah, vu. So it has a dhamma on top of it. Now the rule is whenever this letter has a um, sign on top of below it. It's called a mutahara letter. Yeah, did you know that? No. Any letter that has so any letter that has a any type of sign, so fataka sadama, any type of sign, it's called a mutahara letter. Okay. Okay. So this vowel is a mutahara letter. Now after this vowel, there's an alif. Now this alif is blank. Okay. This the second alif is also blank. And what we want to do is read this whole word. Now, after the vowel, we've got two blank olives. So how are we able to, so can we do anything with the blank olives if they don't have, if they have no sign on top of them? No. No, because we don't know how to pronounce it because they're blank. They don't have any, any signs on top or below. So what we do is we ignore the silent, uh, the letters which have no sign and look at the letter after the blank letters. 
So what is the letter after the blank alif? Uh, lam and alif. Yeah. So this lam, it's really important to important to remember that this lam, so the the letter after the blank letters has to have a scorn on top of it. Yeah. Does this lam have a scorn? Yeah. Yeah. So if this letter is a a second letter and the letter before the um. The blank letters is a mutahharik letter. That means that the mutahharik letter and the sakin letter will be joined. They will be combined. That means that the vowel and the lam need to be combined. So, ra'aul a ya ti. Good, excellent. So you join the vowel and the lam. Just one thing to remember is that you don't make the vowel sound long. Okay. So it's a quick one second jo joining, combining. So, ra'avul, can you see how that was just one second? Yeah. Yeah, that's what you need to do. Ra'avul ayati. Yeah, ra'avul ayati. 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 Good. Have a go at this next one. Ya, ya. Ya, ah, ya. What is the letter after the ya? Ba. Good. Have a go at saying this now. Ya, ya, da, u. Okay, just before you continue, um, look at all the signs on top of these letters. Do any of these letters up to up to here? Need to be prolonged. How long should the letters up to here be? One second. One second. And yours are slightly longer. So have another girl saying this and make sure you pay attention to how long you make your um, sounds. Ya, ya, da, Okay. Almost there. You just made your dial sound a bit long. Um, it should be one second long. So repeat after me. Ya bada'u. Ya bada'u. Can you see how I made sure that my ya, my dal, um, and my hamza here was all one second? Yeah. yeah. That's what you, and, and you need to keep practicing that because that is sometimes a bit tricky in long words, making sure that all our timings are correct, okay? So, okay. ya bada'u. Ya bada'u. Okay, now I want to join this U with the rest of the word here, yeah? So how will I join this? You can't because the, the lam is, has even a sukun. So I say that again? Oh, you can. I mean, you can. I can? How will I do that? Because, um... Yeah, yeah, it's because the the um ooh, yeah. the hamza is sitting on the tail wall and then the and then it makes the u and then you can yeah. join it with lam. Yeah, with the lam, good, good, well done. Because the rule of combining is that the mutaharik letter joins the sakin letter. So I've joined, I'm joining these two letters. So when I'm joining these two uh, two letters, what sound will I make? Um. Um, two seconds sound. Not two seconds. How will I join these two letters? By. Can you try and join mm. these two letters for me? U. Mm. So when I join this U and this Lam, I will make the sound of Ul. Ul. Good. So all together, I would say I would read this whole word. I would read. When I join this alif and uh, sorry, this hamza and this lam, so I'm combining. Okay, so here I'm making uh, vessel is taking place. So all together, when I'm reading this word, I will read ya bida ul khalqa. Ya bida ul ka. Ul. Kul. Not kul. U. Ul. Ul. Good. Ya bida ul khalqa. Ya ya bida ul ka. Khalqa. Okay. Good. Zakala for your help. Keep practicing Mashla. Good red. Uh, red well read. Zakala. Can I please have the next 
Zazala, Allah Hafiz. Can I please have the next student for the next two lines? Yeah. And, and one, two, seven, five. And one, two, seven, five. As-salamu alaykum. As-salamu alaykum. Wa alaykum as-salam. How are you? Good. Good, alhamdulillah. And do you understand this all? Yeah. Yeah, that's great to hear. Can you please help me with this? But, uh, yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Okay, let's do this together. Can you see? Uh, um, after this, uh, so what sign does is there on top of the olive? Dhamma. Dhamma. And after that, we can see there is a what letter is it? Vowel. Vowel. So do you remember if there is a vowel and a letter before, which is this alif, if that has a dhamma, then this vowel becomes a vowel mud? Vowel mudda. Yeah, good. So what does that mean? How long should my alif sound be then? Two seconds. Two seconds, good. So let's try saying that and make sure that you do you make your alif sound two seconds long. Ooh. Good, well done. So li ooh good. Li Good. Now have a go at saying this part. Li Okay. Yeah, and then, okay. Um, what's happening? Yeah. Le okay. It's a bit confusing, isn't it? How are we going to join it here? So this is where the Russell te rule takes place, the combining rule, okay? Because you can see that there's a lamp, yeah, there's a lamp with a kasra. And you've got a blank letter, you've got a blank ya yeah and a blank alif. But after these two blank letters, look at the next letter, which is alarm. What does the alarm have on top of it? Scorn. A scorn, good. So that means if this alarm has a scorn, that means I can move I can join the first alarm which has a sign with the scorn alarm, with the second alarm. Yeah? So I ignore the blank letters because they don't have any sign, therefore I can't make any sound for them. But I join the two letters that do have a sign. So this lam with the kasra and this lam sakin, I can join them together. And when I join them together, good, well done, that's the sound I make. Can you say that once more? Lil. Good, well done. So, so far, the first part here is li u. Yeah? Li lil. Yeah, so li u lil. Li u lin. Yeah, continue till the end now. So al. Al. Yeah. Baba. Babi. Babi. Good, well done. So this was a difficult one because we have a lot of um, um, mudda over here and we have to do vatsal as well. So very well um, read. So all together this and I want you to repeat after me. Li ulil al-babi Li u li Lil Lil When I joined Alif and the Lamb. Al Babi. Good, well done. Have the go at the next one. Ba Ba Yeah. Ba Good. And where am I gonna combine? I'm gonna combine the red two words. Lu the lamb and the dal. Lud. Good. Lud. Lud. Ah. Uh. U. U. Na. 
la na na because there is an alif mad there na good so if you ask me qalu du lana qalu lu de u lana good excellent jazakallah keep practicing it's a bit tricky but keep practicing and remember that these classes are recorded so please do um listen to them jazakallah for your help lafiz um, lafiz then i quickly just have one more student and i will go um to expert 18.2 with them yes a1233 a1233 assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam wa alaikum assalam how are you good how are you alhamdulillah jazakallah for asking we today we learned a new rule did you understand it yes that's great to hear so in so in exercise 18 oh sorry so in exercise 18.1 we were look, looking at sorry so there we go we were looking at letters um blank letters between with the harik and sakin letters in exercise 18.2 we are looking at blank letters between with the harik and mushaddad letters that's this double you like sign uh, that you can see on top of this lam so can you see in this first box we've got this alif is a blank alif this alif is a blank alif and we've got three blank alifs there now but we have to read this whole word and what happens is that the mutahharik letter so the mutahharik letter over here before the blank letter is the noon because it has a fatha it has a sign so that means i have to join this noon with the letter that has another sign which is the shadda sign this lam has a shadda sign sign that means i have to join this noon and this lam i ignore all the blank letters yeah okay so how i would say this so when i join this noon noon with the lam the sound that i will make is nallah nallah good so how i will say this is anallahu anallahu good um because we are running out of time i'm going to um read this word and i want you to repeat after me and i want everyone at home to repeat um after me as well okay so amilu salihati amilu salihati good can you see i ignored the blank alifs i just joined my mutaharrik lam the lam with the dhamma with my uh mushaddad letter which is the sad so i joined the lam and the sad and i ignored my silent letters okay my uh, the letters that don't have a sign next one qaum takhadu qaum takhadu good uh let's have a quick go at this one as well la qul ladina la qul ladina good can you see i ignored my um blank vowel and my two alis i enjoyed by qaf which has a dhamma and my um mushaddad letter which is a lam so i made the join these two together to um and um i joined these two letters together let's have a go at the next one wa aqimus salata wa aqimus salata okay and the last one here wa atuz zakata wa atuz zakata okay jazakallah okay because we are running out of time i will have to stop here um and i'm going to quickly set you your homework so your homework for tonight is the combining exercises that we just did now so that's exercise 18.2 which we did complete in 18.2 um which we didn't get a chance to get onto but i did um practice with the student so um please practice that at home the page reference for that is um page 53 practice until you are fluent okay and remember these classes are recorded so you can have a look at, you can find them online and um listen to them to help you your homework for the weekend for saturday is soft elongation exercise 16.2 and exercise 16.3 page 51 and um quiz and tamza 
um, exercise 17.2 um, until you are fluent. Um, these are both for Saturday and the page reference is page 52. Your homework for Sunday is um, the lesson that we just did today. That's more revision. So exercise 18.1 and exercise 18.2. These are both the exercise, exercises that we were looking at today. Practice them until you are fluent. The more you practice, the more fluent you will become. Okay. And the reference page reference is page 42. Okay. Um, with that, we are going to move on to our finishing prayer, our ending prayer. Can I please have a student for that? Yes, and one two nine nine. Okay, and one two nine nine. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Wa alaikum salam. Okay. Um, what I want you to do is repeat after me. We're going to start with our other thousand dasmiya. Okay. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم I seek refuge with Allah I seek refuge with Allah From Satan the accursed From Satan the accursed بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the name of Allah. In the name of Allah. The most gracious. The most gracious. The ever merciful. The ever merciful. Okay. Now, if you repeat after me, Allahumma. Allahumma. Hamni. Hamni. Bil Quran al Azim. Bil Quran al Azim. Wajalhu. Wajalhu. Li. Li Imamun wa Imamun wa Nuran wa Nuran wa Hudan wa Hudan wa Rahma Rahma Can you do the English translation for me quickly? And make it for me the oh, leader Oh okay. Allah Oh Allah have mercy on me through the great Quran I make it for me. The leader, the light, the guidance, and the mercy. Jazakallah. Um, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.